so the flash has been an interesting an interesting show it had one or seasons one and two were practically amazing in my opinion besides some very small um problems those seasons are near perfect season three for the most part was bearable but it was obviously not anywhere near as good as seasons uh seasons one and two season four was downright terrible in my opinion so naturally after two kind of iffy seasons i came into season five with and i don't want to say with hope but more like with an open mind because i know that arrow turned itself around after two iffy seasons but um yeah at this episode it kind of destroyed what hopes I had for the season. I know you can't base a season off of one episode, but it did a few things that I'm really, really, really not excited to see where they go, and it kind of destroyed any goodwill that the episodes I did like out of this season gave me. But there will be spoilers for the episode from this point on. So, for the majority of this episode, I was kind of thinking, eh, it's pretty meh, it's nothing to get excited about, but it wasn't bad either, I just wasn't, you know, really into it. Um, the thing, some of the things I did like about the episode involved Ralph and Sherlock Wells. Anything they had was pretty great, and I liked um, their kind of dynamic of the two of them working together. I thought that was pretty great. Um, yeah, that was good. I liked how they were working together to find Cicada. I thought that um, giving Ralph a storyline outside of being the comedy relief was great. Uh, I'm really happy that happened. I just am kind of annoyed it happened in this episode. It could have happened, you know, in a better episode. But um, all of that was great, I thought. Uh, and we got to see Sherlock, you know, in action more. And him discovering the Cicada mask, how Cicada makes the noise he makes. That was all really good. Sorry, I just realised that I'm saying great far too much. Uh, I'm going to try and refrain from doing that uh, as much as possible. But um, yeah, the, the villain of the episode was Spencer Young. Um, she has a comic book character called Spin, except in the comics it's a male, not a female. So they did a little, I guess, spin on it. <laughs> Sorry. Um, but yeah, that was cool. One thing that was... Uh, she, she can like hypnotize people and make them do what she wants and so this kept getting used like she would hypnotize Barry and make him run off and then hypnotize Excess to save people it was really weird she was doing it so that Excess would get in the limelight more than Barry so that you know everybody would see Excess as a hero and not Flash as a hero um which as you know it's, it's, you could always have both of them save everybody you don't have to have one save and one not but sure, whatever floats your boat, Ryers. Uh, we did get to see um, pic Central City Picture News, though, for the first time in seasons uh, through the story arcs. That was cool. It looks a little different now, but I assume that's just because they're filming it from different angles. So it was interesting. But overall, the villain was terrible. And um, the big, big setup for her character was uh, to have Barry and Nora end up fighting each other at the end. Um, which lasted like two minutes. I think that was the same stadium used in season one for when Barry fought Reverse Flash for the first time. But besides that, yeah, that it all com uh, culminated in Iris shooting Nora in the back, and that was it. But then, um, speaking of Nora and Iris, we did get a lot of development on their storyline. We know why Nora hates Iris now. I thought it was just because she was like an absentee mother or someone. After Barry died, she just kind of went into a little hole and never really talked to anybody. But no, it turns out it's because she put some uh, power dampener inside to Nora to stop her powers from surfacing. So Nora didn't find out she even had powers until like six months ago. So yeah, that that's a thing. Um, you know, CW drama. You, you want it? You come for, you come to these shows for it because if you want actual, you know, good plot points, you're not going to get them. Um, but yeah, there was that. That was a huge down point of the episode. But that wasn't the big down point of the episode. And I'm going to talk about the big down point of the episode for now for a second. Look, I'm sorry, I'm being a little bit too harsh towards the show in general f because of one bad episode. I, you know, I know I said that at the CW doesn't do good plot points because they do stupid drama things. Well, I mean, Arrow was my favorite TV show of all time, so that's obviously saying that I love these shows. And I love most of Flash, most of it. But sometimes when an episode 
it changed the season so much and that's what this did it was revealed at the end of the episode that the enlightenment which was what happened at the end of season four and um, the devos plan it was revealed that that is now creating new metahumans and that cicada was one of the metahumans created from this including uh, spin and including the villain for the next episode were all created because of the enlightenment it also turned out then that this was also creating meta technology as in technology is being infused with metahuman particles kind of thing yes so here's why i'm really annoyed on, on the direction that this season's taking so before now i was under the assumption that we had gotten away from the something new is creating metahuman cycle i was thinking this season was mainly going to focus on the mystery of who nora like what is the deal with nora and cicada somehow tying into all this I was excited for that and why you know um, I thought there's gonna be something more interesting about why there's a different version of Cicada instead of David Hirsch uh, because every season now we've had something at the end of last season ended up being the catalyst for new metahumans and the season well season one it was the particle accelerator season two it was earth at uh, metahumans going from earth to season three it was metahumans created by the speed uh, by, by flashpoint and season four it was metahumans created by the the metabus the 12 metahumans that devo created or not devo sorry when barry committed speed force he created they were all the new metas so and i was like please don't do this again it's the same yes you're you're calling it something different you're putting it in colorful terms but it's the same goddamn plot every single time so please stop doing that and i thought they really did you know we're five episodes in i thought you know what we're over this well sorry we're four episodes in we're over all this new metas being created thing but we're not they're going right back to it again for the fifth season in a row um, and on top of this they come up with the stupidest plot point they can meta technology yes technology metahumans or technology is becoming metahumans basically now it's ridiculous and i know these shows are already outlandish enough but i mean come on please don't do this i wanted to like this season i really did i hope they can do something that can change my mind on this season so far but yeah, that's my thoughts on the episode. I'd, I'd give it a 5 out of 10. I was thinking about giving it a 4, but I was like, nah, I did the Wells and Sherlock, Sherlock stuff kind of saved it a little bit for me. But yeah, 5 out of 10 is what I'm giving. But thank you very much for watching. And if you enjoyed this video, please consider liking and subscribing. Thank you.